What's up Marinas, this is Abhilash Thakur and welcome back to Sailor's Guide. So today we are going to start with the rule number 21, definitions. Well, this part of the rule comes under the section C of ROR, that is uh, lights and shapes. So these definitions are uh, related to the lights and shapes only, okay. The rule number 3 which we have done, that is a general definition. So those uh, uh, all definitions are the general definitions of uh, ROR. But here they have specified uh, definitions uh, only related to the lights only, okay. So without wasting our time, let's jump on to it. And uh, we are going to start with the part A of this rule. We will start with the part A which is about the mast headlight and uh, let's start with it. A mast headlight means a white light placed over a fore and aft center line of the vessel showing an unbroken arc of horizon 2 to 5 degrees and so as to show the light from right ahead to 22.5 degrees above of the beam on either side of the vessel. All right guys, so all the parts which are given in this rule, we will cover up three basic things, okay. First will be the color of the light, another one will be the position of the light where it will be positioned and the third one will be the arc of the horizon, the arc of the visibility arc of this uh, light, okay. So that is what will be included in the definition if we break it down, three things will be there. So, uh, in the first part that is a mast headlight, we have studied that the light is a, a white color light, okay. So, a mast headlight is a white color light. So, it should always be white color light and it should be placed on the center line of the vessel. So, it means if you divide the vessel into two parts from center, let us say you are looking the vessel from the aft and you can divide this vessel in the center from the center, so which will be uh, through and through fore and aft. So, this uh, mast headlight should be on the center line of the vessel, okay. So, that is a position second. The third one is the arc of the horizon. Arc of the horizon is 2 to 5 degrees for mass net light. And also they have told here that uh, this light will go 1, 1, 2.5 degrees from forward to 22.5 degrees above the beam on either side, on port side also, on starboard side also, okay. So, 1, 1, 2.5 degrees plus 1, 1, 2.5 degrees is equal to 2, 2, 5 degrees which will be the complete arc of this mass net light. And it is a unbroken light, okay. There should be no breaks. So, it is unbroken arc of 2 to 5 degrees. This you already might know from the bow of the vessel to the beam of the vessel consists of 8 points, okay. Each point is 11.25 degrees. So it means if you add 2 more points, 2 more points it will be 22.5 degrees. So from a beam of the vessel it, you go 2 points more, until 2 points more you can see this masthead light, okay. On the either side, on the starboard side and on the port side also, okay. So it will be like going from forward to the beam of the vessel on either side and you will see it too also two points above the beam, okay. So that that, that will be 22.5 degrees. So this is about the mass headlight. Let's jump on to the next part that is the B part about the side lights. So B part says a side light means a green light on the starboard side and a red light on the port side, each showing an unbroken light over an arc of the horizon of 112.5 degrees, okay. And so fixed as to show the light from right ahead to 22.5 degrees above the beam on its respective sides. Well, here I have told you that we will cover up three sections that the color of the light. So side lights on the port side it is red light, on the starboard side it is green light that is what they have given here and now it will the position of the light, port side will be red, starboard side will be green that is port starboard they have given the position of the lights. After that they have given the horizon of the arc that is 112.5 degrees. Now the interesting part here is if we have covered here in mass headlight that the, if you divide this uh, 2 to 5 degrees into two sections, it will be 1, 1, 2.5 degrees, okay. So from the bow to starboard side, it will be green light that is uh, 1, 1, 2.5 degrees going two points above the beam and on the another side, on the port side, this light will go from uh, bow of the vessel up to the 2, 2.5 degrees above of the beam. So this will be the side lights covering up 2 to 5 degrees but one will be 1, 1, 2.5 degrees, another one will also be 1, 1, 2.5 degrees, okay. So this is about the side lights and we will go on to the next part that is that is about the stern lights. Stern light means a white light placed as nearly as practicable at the stern showing an unbroken light over an arc of horizon of 1, 3, 5 degrees and so fixed as to show the light of 67.5 degrees from the light aft on each side of the vessel. So here also we will cover up three sections, the stern light will be a white light and the position will be as near as practicable to the stern. So the third part is the horizon, horizon will be 135 degrees and they are saying that this light will cover up the aft section. So you know already that all circle is 360 degrees, 225 degrees has been covered up by the masthead light and the rest will be covered up by the stern light that will be 135 degrees, okay. So obviously if you divide it into half each side will be 67.5 degrees on the port on starboard side and this is a white light and it will be near to the stern. 
for better understanding you can check out this uh, image which i am showing here you can see this mast headlight is uh, 225 degrees and it is going beyond the beam it is going two points beyond the beam that is 22.5 degrees also for this side lights this port side 112.5 degrees and starboard side also 112.5 degrees so it will also go beyond this beam up to 22.5 degrees so the rest area which is on the stern side of the vessel it will be stern light that will cover about 135 degrees so this whole circle will be 360 degrees 225 degrees will be covered up by the mast and uh, and the rest uh, will be covered by the star lights also the side lights will cover up the same area as mast headlight only the difference is port side will be half of it and the starboard side will be half of it the red and the green okay so now we will jump on to the next part that is the d part d part says towing light means a yellow light having the same characteristics as the stern light defines in the paragraph c of this rule so here they are saying the simple thing that the towing light is a yellow light which is identical to the stern light it has same characteristics as a stern light only the color is changed the stern light is a white color and this towing light is a yellow color okay so that is only the difference here all right so now we will jump on to the next part that is e part e part is about the all round lights so e part says uh, all round light means a light showing an unbroken light over an arc of horizon of 360 degrees well as the name suggests all round it means you can see it 360 degrees the arc of the horizon is 360 degrees now they have not talked about the color and the position of this lights these lights can be anywhere the color of the light can be anything the only condition is that it should be 360 degrees it should be visible from everywhere it should have an arc of 360 degrees okay so that is all about this e part let's go to the f part that is the last part of this rule let's jump onto it well this f part is about the flashing light flashing light means a light flashing at regular interval at a frequency of 120 flashes or more per minute well they have uh, clearly said what the flashing light means if it is flashing 120 flashes in a minute it means two flashes in a second it means that is a flashing light if it is less that is not a flashing light which is flashing two times in a second it means that light is a flashing light which will be 120 or more in a minute okay all right guys so this is all about this rule i hope you like this video if you find this video helpful please press the like button and subscribe my channel also press the notification bell press all notifications so that you don't miss out the videos which are coming up next also if you have any doubts you can put down in the comment section below i will uh, try to answer it there and if the topic is bigger i will try to make a video on it okay so this is about the video guys i will see you in the next video this is a blast signing off